So go on then. What's this plan you've got to clear Warren's name? Oh, cutting it a bit fine, aren't we? Oh, uh, no, sorry, it's, um, it's my fault. I thought I'd get my steps in early today, so uh, I've come down with Nancy to keep her company. Right, so legs just waking up, I see. Well, it beats splashing out in taxi fare, doesn't it? I suppose so. Look, I'll see you later. You know, you really didn't have to escort me all the way into school. Yeah, but if you'd listened to me and stayed at home, I wouldn't have to be sharpening you now, would I? Pregnant women are allowed to work. But how many pregnant women are under the stress of their partner going missing? Nancy, you're in no fit condition to come to work. Bills have to be paid, and somebody has to be the head of the household. Nancy, listen to me. You've already had two miscarriages, and you know that stress is not good for the baby. Then do us both a favour and stop stressing me out. What's got Jack in such a tears? Darren ditched you and you're not losing your head over it. Well, I'm not exactly happy about what Darren's done, but if he's not ready to be a dad again, what else am I supposed to do? Mm. Oh, I guess I have to hope that he comes home and we can sort this out like adults. Are you all right? Oh, just a wave of morning sickness to start the day, which is great because after assembly, I'm introducing the Year 11s to Hamlet. Well, I, I can cover your class for you if you like. You sure you can handle it? The lady doth protest too much. You should be biting my hand off to go and put your feet up in the staff room for an hour. Well, Fergus has made the front page. No specifics yet, though. Maximo, relax. Nobody knows it was me that killed him. But it wasn't you. Was it, Mum? I killed him. Shh. If we weren't in public, I might let you scream and shout about it, but it was you that wanted us to get out of the flats. Because I can't bear to be cooped up in there day and night surrounded by Fergus's store. Well, keep this zipped. Let's weather the storm together, eh? Mother and daughter. Let me do this for you, Max. Let me protect you. Do the right thing for once. We were lucky that PC Franks was able to pass off his murder as an accidental death. It's all such a mess, Mum. Fergus is still controlling us from beyond the grave. I mean, Warren being arrested for burying Timmy's body. What if there's more to come? What if Fergus isn't done with us yet? I promise you, it's over. This is the first day of the rest of our lives. Fergus is gone. But there are going to be a lot of people asking a lot of questions about the tenancies now that the landlord's brown bread. Mum, I don't. But I'm going to put it right today starting with the victims of Bluebird. Why? What are we going to do? Well, you are going to go to the flat and get rid of all Fergus's stuff. I'm going to go and find those poor girls and tell them who the real culprit of this sick operation was. Hey, I got your text, but my shift starts in 20. What's up? We've been summoned. Like a coven of witches. Well, thank you all for coming. Um, as victim... Sorry, as survivors of Bluebird, I have a confession to make. Warren wasn't behind the whole operation. It was Fergus. And I'm sorry. Fergus stayed in this village because of me, so... I feel responsible for the hurt he's caused you ladies. Anyway, I just wanted to say I'm glad he's six foot under. And I'm glad I was there when he took his last breath because scum like him shouldn't be walking the face of this earth. Wait, so you were there when he died? Did you kill him? No. No, of course not. What happened was an accident, but we're all Fergus's victims. Hang on. We're the ones that have been violated. Your scumbag fella poked his nose into mine and Perry's relationship giving me dating advice to move in together so his scummy mates could spy on us. Look, obviously Fergus was playing some sick game, but Jules, we're the winners here. I mean, our relationship's gone from strength to strength since you moved in. You see? Fergus is the loser, not us. Oh, don't you go play the victim. You know, the only reason you ended up with a monster like that is because you are one yourself. 
Look at the way you treated Leah throughout that black pool of palazzo competition thingy. You're toxic. I don't deserve any sympathy from anyone. I'm sorry. Yeah? Then stop saying it. Start showing it. Come on, the kids absolutely loved it. Using a Disney film to teach the story of the downfall of Hamlet. You're a genius. Always going for gold. That's my downfall. <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you enough for covering for me for today. Well, honestly, my only aim was to impress you enough to be considered for your maternity leave, so gold star for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were being serious then. It takes years to work up to be deputy head. You're brand new. Well, I suppose the first rule of any classroom is walk before you fly. I've not offended you, have I, Olivia? I'm sorry, ignore me. No, it's fine. Well, it's not, is it? I mean, I've, I've been an absolute cow all day. I mean, the worst thing about adulting is you still have to do it when all you want to do is put on a onesie and watch a bit of reality TV. I'm trying to put on a brave face all day. Don't beat yourself up over it. And look, I'm sorry if my maternity leave comment was awkward. You obviously have a talent for literature, and given your performance this morning, I'm sure it won't be long till you're clamouring past me up, up, up the ladder to success. But don't say that. You are an amazing teacher and an even better person. <laughs> Darren will be back. <laughs> I hope you and Prince end up more happily ever after than Shakespearean tragedy. No matter how much Darren hurts me, I just can't stop loving him. I know something that could make you feel better. Hey. How did it go with the bluebird victims? Survivors, Max. Yeah, it was eventful. They had a few choice words for me, but nothing was said that wasn't fair. You can't blame yourself for what Fergus did, whether you brought him into the village or not. Birds of a feather flock together, isn't that what they say? Mom, I have to take responsibility, Maxine. I knew he was dodgy, but as long as I was getting me expensive shoes and me luxury spa breaks, my life of luxury was at the expense of those poor women. Patrizia Reggiana was wrong. I'd rather laugh on a bicycle than cry in some fancy car. What? Nothing. It's you and me against the world now, Max. Mother and daughter, stronger than ever. And we're gonna bring your man home. We're gonna find a way to clear Warren's name, I promise. Thanks, Mum. Did you manage to brave the flat? Yeah. And it's now officially a Fergus-free zone. Good girl. Oh, but I, um... Did find something in one of his drawers, and I'm guessing it might be yours. Are you insinuating that a woman of my high class would be seen flouncing around in that? Sorry, Mum. The colour of it would completely wash out my complexion. Do you not know me at all? <laughs> Feels good to smile, doesn't it? It does. And you know, it's okay to be happy that he's dead. He was a vile man who got what he deserved. Don't you ever again let a man try and rob you of your happiness. Oh, so I feel like I can finally breathe for the first time in forever. Thank you, Olivia. Well, you know what they say. New wardrobe, new woman. I feel like I needed a fresh start. Independent woman, part two. Well, Miss Independent, I'm off to go and sort these clothes for you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Hey. Hello. Hey, Nancy. What's this? Well, I'm going to need the extra wardrobe space with the new addition to the family on the way. I'm selling anything that reminds me of Darren. Well, that's just a bonus. I might even tackle his side of the wardrobe next. Nancy, I know you're hurting, but... Getting rid of any trace of Darren is not going to help. What are you going to do when he comes home again? If he comes home. Come on, you can't give up on him like this. Yes, Jack, I can. 
He has let me down for the last time. We don't know what Darren is and why he's disappeared, but we have to keep an open mind. You don't think it would just get up and, and, and leave like this without there being some serious reason behind it. Nancy, he loves you. Fine. I will give him till the end of tomorrow to get in touch. After that, I'm done. Right, a toast to us for being fearless and strong. Lionesses. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>